Goku, welcome home. Uh, is there something the matter? What? Oh, <clears throat> no, 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 of course not. Um, so, how's the clip going? Uh, it's, it's coming along great, especially thanks to you and... The thing, the, but there is something I want to ask you about. Mom, I told you, don't don't worry about the money, because I have my ways. It's not that, actually. Okay, there was it. Your, your new bird friend? Well, what about it? It, it keeps setting things on fire, and I can't... So, oh... Okay, okay, yeah, I'm so, I'm sorry about that. I'll I'll fix. I'll find a I'll find a better way to get him under control and everything. It's just <sighs> what's going on. I can only imagine. But as long as you you're sure, as soon as he goes, who does? arrive back in his room, he does see that, yeah, a lot of his stuff has been torched. Luckily, he did have some fireproof belongings, but also, was like, oh, man, that feels like I really screwed up bringing this thing here. <sighs> oh, I guess I just got to bond with it some more than break its heart. Uh, Daddy needs those tears. As while they're preparing for the internships, Izuku is trying to get the Phoenix to cry. The only thing is, he's still too nice. So much so that even with as short a time as they've known each other, the Phoenix knows Izuku isn't being mean. On purpose, he's not a t intentionally mean. Phoenix already knows, like, okay, you need my tears, but it's hard to do that when you're such a good owner or at least friend. Ezeku knows this. The only thing is, like, okay, so there must be other ways to make someone cry. I one of the saddest movies in the world. As he finally figures this out at right before it's time for the damn internships. Oh, and boy, is he relieved. So much so that he rushes out of school. Making sure that, okay, I gotta make it there before anyone gets suspicious or anyone. <laughs> I mean, anyone could possibly alert someone in my presence. As he does place at least three drops. Let's, let's say that's all he was able to get on Tensei. He starts healing. Izuku, out of instinct, just yells and cheers, having to jump out of the damn window so he wouldn't get caught. And this is when the doctor shows up and sees that Tensei is up and at him, and he's not only standing, he is walking, he is running. Hell, his jets are revving up like nobody's business. As the doctor has no choice but to get on his knees and declare this a miracle. As he is informed of this, the only thing is, he though he doesn't know why or how his brother ended up getting healed, especially since they've already established that he was he was not supposed to be able to walk again, let alone be a hero. So, yeah. 
though yes he's happy about his brother being able to continue his hero career he still wants vengeance on Stain for putting his brother in such a predicament so sadly that does continue the same as it would in canon one thing is Ida isn't as angry and is more willing to actually talk to at the very least Izuku as you can imagine, Izuku's trying his best to talk Ida out of it. Ida seemingly like, okay, okay, I won't do anything. But Izuku being around literal Osaka demons, especially Blitz, he instantly knows, like, yeah, he's gonna try something. So he had no choice but to keep an eye on Ida. But, one thing for certain. Due to him not really going to showcase much of his skills in the whole sports wrestle, he doesn't really get that many offers to begin with. So he just says, eh, I'll skip it, doesn't matter. The only thing is, when he does come across Ida heading towards an alleyway, he so as to wait a minute. Okay, let, let me just make sure I got my plan together on how to be staying. I still don't know what his quirk is. I still don't know how he really fights. Blah, 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 blah. All these variables that he doesn't have a counter for as of yet. So he doesn't know how staying fights. He doesn't know what how he's really killing his heroes besides gunning them. So, hmm. <sighs> Really? At least if he has a plan, he he'll be better. But time is of the essence. In which he decides, fuck it, I'll make it up as I go, just like Moxie and the uh, Imp Gang. The only thing is, when Stain sees him, Stain is like you. What? You're the boy on the sports festival, aren't you? Corkless, yes. Yeah, interesting. Thank you. But you're also the one who saved Ingenium. What? You did a bury me a little back and you see like, you what? Yeah, he's the one I found a genium. Wait, but why didn't the police? Well, obviously because he's still a student. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope, not kidding. <sighs> you, seriously? Yeah, I don't want to burn your brother. So you saved his life. I guess so. <laughs> don't be modest. You did save his life. God only knows how long it would have been before anyone else showed up. But one thing I don't understand is how did you heal him? What? Oh, you, you don't seem to understand. The wounds I gave him. <laughs> Those jet engines of his shouldn't be operable. He should be able to stand, let alone still be a hero. You did something. I don't know what, but you did something that healed him completely. Considering how long it took for him to possibly get healed, you did it recently with something that fixed him up near instantaneously. What makes you say 
because of his announcement that he practically was healed overnight or in a matter of moments he felt no more pain and as soon as he stood up he cried he fell to his knees happy that he could be a hero you must have done something you're not quirkless are you oh no I am believe me I I'm quirkless all right <laughs> I'm no idiot as Edith is listening to this you healed my brother no he, he's just He's just grasping at straws, either. For anything, time is what he would your brother. <sighs> wow, you must really think I'm stupid. No. For anything, you're anything but stupid. <sighs> that has been made clear. Due to your ability to stay... out of the limelight so to speak or at least to keep yourself from being captured yeah indeed so let me ask you a question I didn't heal him oh don't worry I gave up on that little curiosity I know you healed him don't know how I know you did. But my question is what kind of hero are you? What? what? You saw me that day, didn't you? <clears throat> what makes you. Uh, before I was able to flee the scene last time, you and me met I felt your presence it was off if anything it felt somewhat twisted what just saying something about you Though, yes, you're quirkless, I felt like the necessary action was to flee. You put my senses, my instincts, into a defensive survival type situation. I could have incapacitated you, finished off in Genium, <laughs> you know. I could have killed you both. Could have crippled you both. I could have just killed Ingenium and beat you senseless. You wouldn't have done that. How are you so sure? You don't know anything about me. True. But one thing's for certain you only kill those who you deem to be fake heroes. I'm not a fake hero, am I? <laughs> oh, I guess you got me there. Wait. Hmm? Oh. Yes. His brother, his younger brother. The one who... Hmm. Through his own convictions decided to come here and kill me. I kinda of admire that. But still, you do need to be punished. <sighs> this is gonna be a fun, fun fight. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. 
At least, you must be very brave or very stupid to think you can take me on by yourself. All alone, you really think you can fight me and win? <sighs> I don't need to fight you to beat you. What? If anything, let's just say I was just a distraction. As Toroki uses a shit ton of ice and freezes staying solid. Stan can't move, he can't collect blood, he can't do that, he can't do this. So, heroes do show up. Endeavor, all the like. And they're asking, okay, so who did this? Endeavor, he's proud of his son. Though, yes, the whole Tano Juzu's thing really did help. He is concerned at the fact that, though, yes, you have captured the serial killer stain, you also broke the law and use your quirks without express permission. In which yeah, Izuku does have to explain the situation. If he can't save everyone else's skin, he might as well save his own. Like, yeah, I don't have a quirk. What? Yep. You're serious? Uh huh. Seriously? Yep. No quirky quirk. Uh, if anything, believe me, it was kind of a pain growing up. Uh, so many bullying. <laughs> Unique little children. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know what? Yes, you can say. Hmm. You did well. Shut up. As did you, young Midoriya. Thank you. But you must still be punished. Especially you, Ida. Uh, that's... That's fair. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you do not have to tell me. It's fair. <laughs> Believe me. Izuku's like, <clears throat> You say we're in trouble for using our course in public? Yes. There's a problem with that. What? What do you mean? I'm quirkless. <laughs> so, if anything, you can't really get me in trouble for saying I use my quirk. If there is no quirk to use. And though, yes, your son did use his quirk and wish to uh, catch your stain, you could also make the argument that he just felt a little warm in this climate. I suppose you would want Ida to continue as well. No repercussions? Are you kidding? Uh, wait, were you? No, this was all his fault. I mean, yeah, I was able to save him and needed, but still, that could have been so much worse. Uh, you are correct. That would have proven very problematic, wouldn't it? No kidding. But, if anything, at least me and your son can get away with this, so to speak. I'll try. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. All I can say is, good job. And, shut up. 
Please be careful. As AJ and the other heroes, along with Native and Ida, leave, and Todoroki and Izuku are now the one of the best of friends ever. Izuku got Todoroki not only out of trouble, but also made his dad somewhat acknowledge him. Though, yes, their relationship is still very much rocky. Progress is progress. Yeah. So many treasures. Is it good? No, no, nothing. Just. Oh, man. Those damn caverns, dungeons. Oh. So. So, so weird. Concerning. Hmm. But what if? Hmm. Yeah. He's gonna be very suspicious of me. Thanks to state opening his big mouth. But yeah, I should try to smooth things over. If not, hmm. Probably should leave my lovely Firebird. Has her uh, innocence intact. Only thing is, that's easier said than done. I have to reconsider the fact that this slime hmm, should not be taken lightly. So much so that yes, he should be dead right then, right now, but still. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Whatever. I'll find a way. I'll make sure that no one else finds out about hell being real. In which, he's a group. He bumps up his training. As well as his little side projects. I mean, don't get me wrong, being a hero is great and all. The only thing is, it's better not to put all your eggs in one basket. So, he's if you're trying to be a hero, him trying to be an arms dealer, him being a fixer or assassin, whichever one you want to call it. Hell, club owner, gets a ring Inko. Yeah, he's making sure he has enough partial uh, potential uh, opportunities just in case this hero thing doesn't go his way. And there's this other thing he's been proven to be good at. Strategy. Coming up with tactics and ways to not only take on heroes, but also villains. Let's just say him being in the Weapons trade gives him a lot of uh, potential windows for gathering information. Hell, heroes! Hell, this shit's all this shit's all over the internet. Well, because of their powers and yada yada blah blah blah. Anyway. I just mean anyone could just look up what such and such's powers are. If the hero wasn't lying or, you know, kept it as some aspects of the quirk a secret. But villains, especially the smart ones, like a certain someone, would, uh, there would only be a you know, slight number of people who would actually know what he or her could actually do with their quirk. And Zugu, <laughs> Being how he is, he also picks up a little side gig of being an information broker. Not necessarily selling to villains per se, but say for the right price, he'd give them a plan. He, he would tell them which villains 
or quirks they will require to make sure that uh, it's all good. The only thing is, him still want to be technically on the side of good. Ugh. So overrated. <clears throat> he, of course, alerts the authorities. And knowing what everyone's quirk is beforehand, he can set up a team of heroes. Or at least, heroic quirks. And perfect team matchups. <laughs> and yes, can I imagine? Izuku? He may be the mastermind. But he covers his ass. To the point where, yeah, the villains think, yeah, well, we're, we're safe, we're good, we are in the clear, that are blue skies, clear as hell waters that we're about to pass through. The storm has subsided, all of that. And then they, uh, they get swatted. Wondering what the hell. And since he's a goo, like I said, it was good covering his ass, they think it was something one of they did. At least someone in the team done sold them out or was sloppy. Didn't follow Izuku's plan to the letter. So, when they hear that, wait, they had an informant or something, they turn on each other quick. Yeah, snitch get stitches though. But rats are far worse. So when Yuzuku does decide to bump off some competition when it comes to the arms trade, he makes sure to have his fill of the leftovers. Not only increasing the amount of his arsenal, but also the amount of cash in his bank account. As you say, that bag and that jacket no one really thinks much about it. All things considered. I mean, it's just a regular bag and jacket. What? Right, that, clothing? That could... <laughs> that's ridiculous. But Izuku, knowing that, yeah, he may be playing with fire, he just got to make sure that no one, I mean no one, <laughs> finds out what he's been doing as well as <laughs> how far this rabbit hole goes because if he gets caught everything is over him wanting to be a hero gone him being an arms dealer yeah, he'll be a wanted man if he breaks out he's been doing everything Practically him by himself. Say with with some assistance with the hell of a boss crew, but he can't risk getting captured. <laughs> no, 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 no. He though yes, he does still want the heroic status. Being prepared. Having plan B through Z. Hell, even make up some imaginary letters after Z. There's nothing wrong with that. When it comes to the whole club being open, Inko was having fun owning it. The only thing is, Izuku's done most of everything. If anything, Inko only has to show up and show them who's boss. Easy peasy. But when Izuku shows up, they know it's time to get their asses in line. Because unlike Inko, Izuku doesn't have the same aura as he would as in canon. He doesn't have this innocent Samuro aura. At least 
When it comes to business. When it comes to business getting down to business, he just flips a switch and he's like the godfather. He's through our face. He, he's the mo that motherfucker you don't want to cross. The workers, they know to do their shit and do it right or risk termination. Whatever that means, it can mean whatever you think it means. It doesn't really matter, does it? Well, it matters that them numbers better be looking immaculate. And that's all. At this point, Yuzuku or Inko is not an option. If you just for him, consequences. If you just for her, worse consequences. Kazuko, being how he is, still loves his mom to an impressive amount. Brad, to be completely honest, once all the construction was finished, Kazuko actually paid Oraka's parents a bit more than they were expecting for such a job. Oraka? She tackles Izuku, thanking him for helping so much. Izuku is like, okay, we in public, let's not do this. Her eh, being embarrassed, but also, you did not have to pay them that much. Shh. What, what, what are you talking about? Shh. I, I, I didn't pay them. <laughs> no, no. What are you talking about? When, I mean, you, to my mom. Uh, and she was a, she realized that everyone watching is like, okay, what the hell is going on? But she was just like, oh, you don't want anyone to know that you, yeah. Yeah, the last thing I need is for people to know that I got money. I don't flaunt what I have. But, uh, okay, but what? When you start flashing your riches, people get curious. They start asking questions. And they start asking questions. They start investigating. And I don't need that kind of heat on me. Why are you talking like that? Huh? You, you sound like... Uh, <coughs> Sorry, I just like... I just like those old um, um, crime movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. I apologize for my outburst. It's fine. But at least you should keep your family above water. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 yes, uh, thank you, so, thank you so much. Good. Now, if you don't mind. Huh? Oh, right, um. So, uh, what? We're going, you know. Huh? Oh, the mall? Yeah. Oh, that's hmm, that's nice. Would you like to join us? Hmm. I don't know. Sounds kind of like a hassle to me. Uh, I'm going to, have to think about it. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I understand. Good, good talk. Izuku just realized, wait, did she? Was she? Oh, I feel so stupid. Uh, well, that happened. I feel kind of like an asshole, but things happen. Maybe next time. 
As Hugo is walking home, he thanks to the training given to him by Moxie, Millie, as well as Blitz, and whew, Luna, to, to their dismay at least, Izuku can tell when he has a tail, or someone following him. Only thing is, for some reason, it blinks in and out. Like, first they're there and then they're gone. Like they're teleporting or just erasing their whole existence, but then popping back up as soon as they peer their heads. He can't understand why. Until he does end up walking by an alley and boom! There she is, Himiko Toga, in which Izuku is wondering, why are you following me? <sighs> I need a job. What? Well, why are you coming to me? Because you're a killer too. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a UA student. <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? I'm not a killer. Oh, on contraire, I know you are. You see, I have a thing. Or blood. Uh huh. So you reek of it. <laughs> well, it must just be your imagination. No, I smell it from your jacket, your backpack. <laughs> And I was there that day. What? I saw you. What do you mean you saw me? <sighs> that day in the warehouse, you made them think that you were going to sell them some weapons. But you ended up doing something very, very naughty. Uh, uh, what? You pin them against each other, and that's very evil. And even though there was one left standing who could have claimed the spoils of their bloodbath you killed him uh, oh and don't bother what you're about to sh shoot me weren't you uh, wait how did as then Izuku reaches for his gun in his back pocket but then he does a like, you know I prefer knives but Guns are very effective too, and this one has a nice silencer. Where did you get it? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <sighs> so, you know who I am. Oh, yes, I do. I really do. I'm not gonna lie, I admire your work. Arms dealer trying to be a hero, but also being an information broker, tactician. As she starts going down Izuku's resume, like, how does this bitch know my activities? Is she called some kind of stalker or some shit? But yeah, I know all about you.
so I can see. <laughs> so what was it that you said you wanted? A job. I want to do what you do. <sighs> really? Yeah. I mean, I think I'd make a very good assassin, especially considering my quirk. Really? What is your quirk exactly? That's a secret. Who knows? I'm much more open with people I like. People I trust. <laughs> Why do you mention trust when you pretty much been stalking me? No, no, not stalking. Gathering information. Or studying you. Still sounds like stalking to me. Well, that's your opinion. Anywho, what do you think? What do you mean? Would you like for me to either blab to a certain group of individuals that'll make your life a bit more complicated? Or would you rather just hire me on? <sighs> Hmm. I guess I don't really have much choice, do I, huh? No, you don't. Hmm. Alright. Himoko Toga. You're one year older than me. You were from a very well-known, at least prestigious family until you snapped. Your parents call you demon child, your classmates wonder what happened, that you were such a sweet little girl who seemed to just turn bad overnight or in that just instant. So you know about me too. Yes. <sighs> if anything, I as you say, am an information broker to an extent. I'm more new towards it, but reading articles, going online, whatnot. Yeah, that's part of my thing. But one thing is for sure, you do have a slight obsession when it comes to blood. I take it that's part of your quirk. Or it involves blood at least. <laughs> You'd be correct. Hmm. So you want to tell me what you can do with your quirk now? Or am I going to have to guess or find out some other way? Well, like I said, I'll tell you what my quirk is as soon as I know I can trust you. That sound like a deal? Hmm. So, you get to keep your secrets, but threaten mine? Huh, oh, seems like you understand. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I really do. As if you charges that toga, her being like, is he really gonna... And then she gets a whiff of his blood. As Izuku grabs Toga by the face and slams her head to the pavement, causing a crack. As then Izuku steps back and sees, like, what? the hell she transforms into him usually she would have been able to control him to an extent but that was a complete and utter shock she did not expect that whatsoever she was like are you kidding me 
Who did you? As Izuku explains, you're not the only one who can erase their presence. You're pretty good at it. Huh, better than me. But... When you don't fully know your opponent, it can be very problematic. <laughs> uh, you really are a master tactician. Nah, I'm decent. At the very least, it puts food on the table. You know what? I do like you. Uh, this whole, my whole quirk thing was gonna be secret, but uh, since you already know, but yeah, I can take the appearance of whoever's blood I consume. Hmm. Figured. That would explain how you seem to go without trace for so long. I mean, seriously. If anything, it's a uh, kind of a pr impressive. Uh, really? Yeah. Like, just imagine how much you could actually make if you really utilize your quirk more efficiently. What? I mean, you can copy quirks, can't you? Uh, I no, I I don't think so. No. Really? Well, memories can you access those. I I I don't. Um, huh? Yeah. You are quite interesting, Miss Toga. Uh. Um, <clears throat> uh, you're getting kind of close. What's wrong? As then Toga starts to be a little disoriented and dizzy to the point where she's like, you've poisoned your own blood. Passing out. Izuku, she's like, oh. okay. Oh, man, that poison training. Whew. Poison resistance was a really good idea. I may never doubt Blitz again. But, man, that took forever for me to build over strong enough resistance. <sighs> now, how am I going to get the body of an unconscious teenage girl back to my hideout? Without causing suspicion. Well, <clears throat> I chose this life. I might as well. Uh, what have I become? As when he, Zuku finally does get Toga back to his place, she is all too impressed at this. She has a smile from ear to ear, telling Izuku that, yeah, I really like you. And you are such a gentleman for not doing anything scandalous. No, 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 I'm not that kind of... Oh, I know. Deep down inside, you're still... Izuku. If anything, I would expect you to take after your mother. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I can honestly say, whether you've been able to keep this a secret from her is nothing if not impressive. Yeah, flattery won't get you nowhere. 
Oh, I'm not just trying to flatter you. I'm trying to seduce you. But it's a secret. A secret you just told me. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe I was worried about you. Well, there is something you do need to know. Like, how long was I out? I say about an hour. Hmm. Must be less than an hour. What do you mean? See, so you're looking at the clock. Oh, yeah, it's been, let's say, 58 minutes. Oh, good. That means you have two minutes. Well, give or take the seconds you're wasting talking to me. Excuse me. As in, like, you should check my phone. <laughs> what did you do? Izuku grabbing it, but then realizes, you said a, oh yes, I had to put in the password within every hour or else everything I know about you gets leaked. Wait, no, 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 this, this can't be real. Oh, yes, it is. You see, I didn't just decide to study you just for my own satisfaction. I did also to make sure that I could possibly gather enough crucial evidence and details about you so that just in case you pulled something like this... You're crazy. Oh, flattery won't get you anywhere. So you can untie me because now you have like 30 seconds left? Uh, what's the password? I'm not telling you. You can kill me all you if you want, but that won't erase anything. You're bluffing. Oh, no, you got like how many seconds left? Shame. 14, 13. As Izuku has no choice, he unties Toga and she inputs her little password. Izuku trying to get a peek at it just in case, but she's like, No peeking. You, that's just so rude. And she deactivates it. And like, you are one. <sighs> Now what will stop me from just torturing you until I get what I want. You could do that, but then if it torture is bad enough, wouldn't I just tell you whatever you wanted here just so you make it stop? But don't worry, I would never intentionally hurt you. Just like you would never intentionally hurt me, right? I must say, you are... You are something else, Himiko Toga. That's so sweet. But yes, just like you've proven yourself to be a person not to be fucked with, so have I. Yeah, I can see that. So, if you want to work for me, oh yeah, I really do. Fine, 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 that's... I can do that. Really? Yeah. No problem. You'll be working for my mom, technically, before I give you anything remotely like what I do. What? I'm sorry, but I'm not old enough to work at a club, per se. Oh, don't worry. You're going to be more like an assistant. 
what? You want me to pretty much look after your mom? I could have. No. Though, yes, my mom runs the club and whatnot. You know, the day to day operations, it seems. I'm the real boss. Co owner. But really, I control everything. You're gonna be with me all day, every day, until one of us, both of us, who knows, are no longer, uh, you know, breathing. That sounds like the closest thing to a marriage proposal if I've ever heard one. Seriously. Uh, oh well, whatever. I think I gotta get ready. For what? Uh, nothing too serious. I just gotta do this school thing. If anything, it's a little test in which... Yeah. Anything. We're going to a forced training camp, depending on if we pass or fail. Maybe the ones who fail get to stay home, or at least regular school. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Well, in that case, wouldn't you want to fail? Hmm. No. That would be too suspicious. Especially considering type of student I made myself seem more like a studious classmate in which hmm anyway you are going to behave yourself easy yeah easier said than done considering your tendencies <sighs> Trust me, Zuko. I'd be very well behaved, given the right motivation. Now let's talk about pay. Izuku just picking up a bag and tossing it to her. What's this? This is gonna be your pay. Her unzipping the bag and seeing that. Ooh, mama's a lot of my ties. <clears throat> uh, what is this for? Don't worry. If anything, let's just say that's a starting bonus. Really? I must say, you really know how to treat a girl. <laughs> yeah, whatever. If anything. <clears throat> I have this money to burn. Before I can tell, you don't ask questions. At least, not the most annoying of questions from what I've gathered. <sighs> Plus, I could see you being useful. Make sure you continue to be useful, because I would hate for our uh, partnership to end so prematurely is Toga pretty much jumps him and gives him a kiss on the cheek Izuku definitely not expecting this gives a bloody nose and passes out in Toga's lap <laughs>